section 6-4, example 5. So there are many things we can do with exponential models. We can't possibly cover them all. Um, but the last one we'll cover is called Newton's Law of Cooling or Warming. So suppose we have an object or body, and we place it in a medium. So we're going to place it in a room, water, the refrigerator. Um, that's held at a constant temperature called the ambient temperature. If the initial temperature of the object, T0, at the moment it's placed into the medium or the room, is greater than the ambient temperature, the object will cool. And if the temperature is less than the ambient, then it'll warm up. So a lot of words. What am I talking about? So let's say our room is 70 degrees. That's the ambient temperature. If we place a hot cup of coffee in the room, it will cool down. Um, but an ice cold glass of water would warm up. Um, and so it turns out that the difference between the current temperature and the ambient temperature um, will create an exponential decay model with the initial P0 being the initial difference, T sub zero minus T sub M. So the initial temperature of the cup of coffee minus the initial room temperature. It should make sense this is decay because the temperatures are gonna get closer to each other. So the difference will shrink. The difference will decrease, right? Because the temperatures get closer to each other. You can test out this theory by getting a cup of coffee and the room, right? And as it sits there, the cup of coffee is gonna get closer and closer to room temperature. Or a cup of ice cold water, right? It's gonna warm up, but the, te it's, the temperature difference is decreasing. The cup of water is gonna get closer and closer to room temperature. So that's why this is a decay model, because the difference is decaying. So it's a little bit different than what we've been doing, because we're finding the difference. Um, but otherwise, it's an exponential model. So Newton's law of cooling tells us that the current difference is equal to the initial difference times e to the kt, where k is negative for exponential decay. So let's say we're baking a cake in example five. We take the cake out of the oven where the temperature was 165. So that'll be my T0, the temperature that the cake started at. Initial temp of cake, where cake is my object. And we place it in the refrigerator that's 35 degrees. So that's my ambient temperature. This is my room or my medium. where we place the cake. And then we find out that after 10 minutes, the cake is 150 degrees. So that'll be a important information in a second. And then we need to wait to place the frosting on. So we're waiting until the cake hits 70 degrees to add the frosting. So how long do we have to wait? So just like exponential models, we need to solve for the rate, solve for the decay rate. So we're gonna use the point 10 minutes and 150 to solve for that. So our model is current temperature is unknown, T of T, where big T is temperature, little t is time, minus the room, which is the refrigerator, 35 degrees. So the current difference is equal to the initial difference, 165 minus 35, times E to the KT. So T of T minus 35 equals 130 times E to the KT. That's my exponential model. So we will use the fact that at 10 minutes, the temperature is 150. So T of 10 is 150 degrees. And we'll use this to solve for K. And then we can answer the final question. So 150 minus 35 equals 130e to the k times 10. So let's solve for k. Um, 150 minus 35 is 115. 
We'll divide both sides by 130 because we need to get the E all alone. I'm just going to go ahead and leave the fraction so I don't have to worry about rounding. So 115 times E to the K times 10. Now we can take the LN of both sides because the E is alone. All right, we don't have matching bases like we did in 6-3. Only really one side has an exponent, so LN of both sides will solve this. So LN of 115 over 130 equals LN of E to the K times 10. We've learned that LN and E cancel out. So we just get K times 10 on the right side. So we'll go ahead and divide by 10 to solve for K. This is my exact value of K, but we can go ahead and approximate. Just keep a lot of decimal places. So ln of 115 over 130, all in parentheses, and then divide by 10. And we get a negative k, because remember, the difference is decaying. So k is negative 0 0.01226. So hopefully that's enough decimal places. But definitely don't round to just one or two. I'm going to go out to five. I like to keep a lot. So my exponential model is t of t minus the initial of 35, the room temperature of 35, equals 130e to the negative 0 0.01226 and then to the t power because t changes. And then the question was, how long until 70 degrees? Because we don't want to place the frosting on too soon, right? Because the frosting might melt and make a mess. So we have to wait till it cools down a bit. So I'm going to plug in 70 and solve for time. So 70 minus 35 equals 130 e to the negative 0 0.01226t. And if you're feeling confident about solving, you should just stop the video and solve it. But if you still need to work with me, um, here we go. So I get 35 on the left side equals 130 e to the negative 0 0.01226t. Hopefully it's starting to feel a little repetitive, a similar pattern every time. So we'll divide by 130 to get that E all alone. So 35 over 130 equals E to the negative 0 0.01226T. And once the E is isolated, we'll go ahead and LN both sides. That's what's gonna make the E cancel out. So LN of 35 over 130 equals negative 0 0.01226t. And finally, the last step is to divide by negative 0 0.01226. And that will tell us how long. And so since we have an application, we want to use the calculator to get an estimate. So we'll do ln of 35 over 130 and parentheses divided by negative 0 0.01226, enter, and we get about 107 minutes. So just practice. Um, if this section was hard, maybe you need to do a little bit more of 6.3 before you come back to 6.4. Um, 6.3 was practicing solving these. Um, the patterns get repetitive once you do it enough times. It just takes a while to get there. So let me know if you have questions. Otherwise, just keep practicing.